In the fall, for me, pumpkin soup is one of my favorite things to do. I cook it at Thanksgiving. Sometimes I'll even cook it at Christmas. Sunday afternoon, it's a wonderful hearty soup and it's easy to make. First thing we want to do is take the seeds out of the pumpkin and cut it in half. The easiest way to do that is with a spoon and you just start scraping. These go flesh side down on an oiled cookie sheet or sheet pan and we put them into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until they're nice and tender. So what I have on the stove is some apples and some onions that have been sauteing. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and some curry spices. I'm gonna let that cook for about three or four minutes. Sprinkle of salt. So now we're going to transfer our onions and our apples into our soup pan. And we're gonna take our roasted pumpkins that are soft and tender now, and we're gonna scoop this right into the soup pot. The next thing we want is some vegetable stock. You could use chicken stock if you wanted to, but we make a white vegetable stock at the restaurant. And this goes back on the stove for about 30 minutes. So it looks like our soup is just about ready here. I can tell because the apples are nice and soft. So we're gonna just move right over here to the uh, machine and we're gonna puree it. Carefully pour our soup into the machine. And all we wanna do is just kinda pulse it to start and then just let it rip. It shouldn't take very long, about, you know, 45 seconds or so until it's nice and smooth. So we're gonna take our soup right out of the food processor and right into our soup bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of wonderful creme fraiche, a sprinkle of our pumpkin seeds, a sprinkle of chopped parsley, some roasted apple. I think it's nice with a little bit of fresh apple as well. Just sprinkle those right on. And finally, I always like just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So we have a wonderful puree of pumpkin soup with curry spices and roasted apple. A wonderful soup for the fall.